Franklin Roosevelt had a long history in Florida. After polio left him partially paralyzed in 1921, Roosevelt was convinced that he could regain the use of his legs if he exercised, so he bought a yacht in Fort Lauderdale and began swimming in the warm waters along the Florida coast. Eventually, he put the yacht up for sale, saying that he didn't see lasting improvement in his condition. He added that the sharks made it impossible to swim around in deep water for any length of time. In 1933, Wiley in Florida, near disaster, as Roosevelt agreed to make a political appearance in downtown Miami. Roosevelt was president-elect, and he stopped in Miami in January of 1933, and he was going to give a speech, and with him was Anton Chermak, the mayor of Chicago. Mr. Mayor, my friends of Miami, I am not a stranger here. In the crowd was a guy named Giuseppe Zangara, so as Roosevelt was working the crowd, Zangara pulled out a gun and tried to shoot him. And a lady saw the gun and hit his hand. I knew he was shooting at the president, so I take my right arm and pushed the pistol up just as hard as I could. The shot went wild and struck Mayor Chermak, who later would die from the bullet. Let's, say, let's just say justice was quick at the time. From the time he shot to the time he was tried and convicted and executed in Florida's electric chair was 30 days. But Roosevelt survived, of course, and who knows how the world might have changed if Roosevelt never had taken office.